Yes guys, what is going on? Back on this OTR Gamer TV. More information for you guys today. So today my friends is Friday the 2nd of June. And as you might know or you might not know, today they released the trailer for the new upcoming Need for Speed 2017 game. And it has been confirmed guys, the game is gonna be called Payback. As you can see, I'm gonna bang you up a little screenshot now, you can see what's going on. So straight away guys, We've got a lot of information on this. We need to get talking, so we're not gonna waste any more time. We're gonna do this. So as you can see, I don't know if you have seen the trailer, guys. It does start off that a big semi-truck is knocking a car out the way. Nothing unusual about that. It's a car game, you know, whatnot, whatnot. But it kind of opens it straight away on the note that, you know what, it might be a mission or there might be something you have to do or, you know, there might just be something, something, something. So let's crack on, guys. In this next picture you're gonna see, boom, Mustang guys, look at that Mustang. Now I do like this Mustang, I think it's pretty cool, I like the element of it, the way it lights up at the front, it's got neons already built into it, and it looks like this is gonna be one of the main characters' cars, cause in the game, one of the main characters, <coughs> uh, sorry, as you see throughout the uh, trailer, it, you do see a lot of this car, so it might be one of the uh, main characters' cars. And then, again guys, as you can see, it shows you the Need for Speed Payback logo, the actual Need for Speed logo, the name of it underneath Payback, and the date is coming out, which is November the 10th, 2017. So, moving forward guys, as you can see, we have, it looks like, you know, there's been some mad Fast and Furious crazy scene, and it looks like someone's crashed up something down there, and straight away guys, I will mention this, because it's something I do want to mention, the, the game has kind of got a Fast and Furious element to it, a Fast and Furious feel. If you watch the trailer, you'd think, yeah, this is kind of Fast and furious -y. And I think that's pretty cool, man. I think that's really good. Like, I know years ago they did make a Fast and Furious game, but it was pretty crap, guys, let's be honest. But this looks like it's, you know, really cool. As you'll see, as I progress through this video, and I'll show you some more screenshots, you will see it has got this mad element of Fast and Furious to it. So, I mean, look at this next one, guys. Now, before I pop this picture up, I do want you to have a little listen to me. Wow. <laughs> That's all i got to say, guys. Look at this car. Now, I have no idea what it is. From having a little look around and, you know, what not a car. It looks to me like it's a Regera. I think it's a Regera, something like Regera, something like that. And, I mean, just have a look at that car, guys. Wow, it looks amazing being loaded into the back of the trailer. And then in this next photo, again, 4 GT, looking beast. You can see the number plate on the car says Payback. That is obviously the name of the game. It is Payback, so you got payback now again moving forward guys you see like i said quite a bit of this mustang here's another screenshot of it from the front looks nice i think you know the car looks mean it's got a little look to it and then again as it starts up as you can see you know the lights come on like in this game when you switch it off and then you start it up the lights all come on car revs itself up and then it gets ready to go so yeah now in this next screenshot guys i am gonna just put it out there straight away i'm not confirming this this is not a confirmation this is just me speculating what i probably think from watching this trailer will happen now if you look in this next picture there is a big semi truck with a trailer on the back and as you can see guys it looks like the back wheels have actually locked up now if you watch the trailer this mustang is driving towards it and then all of a sudden it looks like he activates something where he locks the back wheels and that's kind of what it looks like here to me guys so you might have abilities in here to obviously help you get these semi trucks stop them take these cars you know it is need for speed and in the next one you can see it does spin out the way and then that's when it goes to the semi truck coming out of the tunnel and hitting the BMW which is what we saw in the beginning which was the initial start up of the trailer so as you can see again guys moving forward you do have this Mustang flying through the rubble and the fire and he is there and it, I mean like I said it looks pretty cool now in this next photo guys we will call them AIs for now, you know, just, you know, in-game people. But as you can see, there is the Mustangies trying to get away. And there is, and it looks to me like a BMW. Now, it looks like an X5 or an X6. It could even be an X5. And the X6, guys, don't get me wrong. 
but let me know in the comment section below if you think they are two different cars but it looks like the AIs are trying to get this guy in his Mustang and trying to stop him from doing what he's got to do which is pretty cool then as you can see in this next photo I know it is a bit, blur a bit blurry guys but as you can see this does look like a Dodge it is you know actually a Dodge let's be honest and the Mustang is hitting the Dodge and as you can see he's knocked it out the way he's flipped it over and he's continued to just carry on on his way so you know pretty cool pretty cool now in these next couple of screenshots guys this is where as i said before you know the element of fast and furious comes into the game now everybody's seen fast and furious i don't think there's anybody in the world that hasn't seen fast and furious they've got like eight movies so you've seen fast and furious guys let's let's not get it twisted now as you can see i'm going to pop it up now i'm just going to leave it there for you to analyze for a second and then we'll carry on boom have a look at that now what do you think guys what do you think let me know in the comment section below need for speed has never really done anything like this it looks like as you can see the mustang's flying the semi truck's there he wants his cargo whatever's in the back this guy wants it and he's hungry for it guys so boom he's hanging out the side of the car and in this next picture this is what i mean by fast and furious boom see that guys your man's jumped from the car to the trailer and he's just trying to get the stuff now how mad is that that is what you call crazy guys this is what i mean this is the kind of game that i'm into this is incorporating a lot of different stuff into the game like i said you know there's parts of fools are in there there's parts of the crew in there there's parts of need for speed in there there's parts of flipping fast and furious in there which you know that's really cool i think so in these next couple of screenshots guys as you can see the ais are chasing us we are trying to get away and I don't know if that, what that is, it looks like a barrel to me full of petrol, someone's threw that in the road, it's hit the front of his car, it's flew him in the air, he's acting like a ballerina and your man's dead, he's on the floor and he's finished, <laughs> that's the end of it, so yeah guys what do you think let me know in the comment section below in these next couple of photos as you can see now it's gone dark look at the one before and you'll see what i mean it's nice and bright and it's daytime and you can see everything then the next one guys as you can see it's dark so they do have that element of a time system maybe where it goes from day to night this game i am playing now was just solely night time and in the rain now, don't get me wrong it's, it's a cool cool game but i didn't I, I that's the one feature i did not like about this game at all guys i don't like the rain and i don't like it night time so why would you make a game just raining and night time all the time it's just stupid but as you can see you know it is night time it does look like this car is doing some off-roading it does look to me back lights because you know nowadays they all look the same let's be honest so hit me up in the comment section below guys let me know what you think let me know what car you think this is if you think it's a bm if you think it's a merc if you think it's an audi if you think it's a porsche you know let me know and then moving forward guys there's another screenshot of it now this is where the game like i said changes again so so far we've had elements of supercars hypercars off-roading now we got drifting guys have a look at this 350z customized looking nice doesn't look ott doesn't look underdone you know what i mean typical racer so as you can see here yeah, guys this is a drift car the number plate even says drifter on the back so there will be the elements of drifting there and moving forward guys again your classic aventadors as you can see i'm sitting in my aventador right here monster looking beautiful and i do like that because aventador is one of my favorite cars in the world it always has been i think it always will be and you know again guys let me know in the comment section below if you think they should have added more cars if they should have added these if they shouldn't have if you go forward now guys as you can see there was a screenshot i took and you can see all the cars parked together it is kind of like morning time just the sun's coming up so you can see a bel air on the right you can see the skyline in the middle and i'm not sure what's on the left guys uh, sorry <clears throat> you can see the um, bel air on the left i'm looking at it upside down guys sorry and you can see the skyline in the middle and on, on the right side i'm not sure what it is is it a bmw or is it a subaru hit me up in the comment section below guys i have no idea what car it is let me know if you can figure out what it is in this next photo that i'm going to put up now guys obviously you can see it's gone to night time so same picture but obviously night time mode and i think that's pretty cool they're just sitting there they're in the dark you definitely can't see the car on the right now at all you can just see its lights you can 
vaguely make out what these other two are. One's obviously a Skyline, one's the Bel Air. But again, moving forward, guys, in the middle of nowhere, as you can see in this photo, it just looks like a clapped out banger. Now, don't get me wrong. Again, I'm not going to confirm this. This is just my speculation on what I think. Maybe, like in the crew, you can go around, find hidden car parts, get yourself a special car, like a special vehicle for the game that nobody else has got. I don't know. Rare, rare. So, you never know. In this next one, as you can see, there's another little clap type banger. Looks like um, just some normal pickup truck. So, yeah. But in the next fo sequence of photos I am going to show you guys, this is what my personal thing is. So in the video for the trailer, it does say that an artist can make any banger into a beautiful masterpiece. So as you can see, these two photos are bangers. And now this next one is the masterpiece. You can kind of tell it's the same because of the windscreen and the chrome around it and the windscreen wipers. And then boom, look at this guys drag racing it's got the drag bars at the back it's got the massive fat monster drag tires at the back it's got the big wing i think that's really really cool i like that so yeah guys there you go another element added to the game drag racing so far we've had dra what, drag racing off-roading street racing supercars hypercars this game's shaping up to be a really good game guys don't get it wrong so moving forward i am going to put a couple of screenshots up now of people that i've seen throughout the trailer i think this guy is the guy that the game is based around his name i think is tyler yeah i'm sure his name's tyler because there is a screenshot i'll show you in a bit guys where he's driving the skyline and the number plate does say tyler so you know this is the one and i think that is tyler this next one here looks like to be a female character she's just sitting in a car she could be one of the middle people she could be one of the bosses we don't know guys and then you've got this menacing looking guy chilling in his um tight t-shirt with a dog on it for some reason He's got a good fade though, I give him that, someone gave him a good fade, go on Bridget. So, yeah, he looks like he's going to be another character in the game as well. And yeah guys, you know, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Next couple of sequences that I'm going to show you guys is where the game gets really interesting. So we did see that mad crazy car earlier on that like, I'm, I'm going to call it a hyper car. Because it's not a supercar, it's definitely a hyper car, whatever that was. And now again guys, boom, look at this. Pagani Hawaira, another supercar, another hypercar should I say, added to the game and you can see, look at that, looking beautiful, a couple of screenshots of that, as you can see there's a back there, it says Hawaira, obviously you can see the number plate says Ghost, so you know it is confirmed, it is from the game, and then again, moving forward guys, you've got the Bel Air, and you can see the Bel Air doing a bit of off-roading, and it does look like, you know, the raid spec cars from the crew, so it is bouncing around and it's going everywhere, and obviously there's going to be hella customizations to these games to, to these cars on this game because you're gonna probably have different various variants like you can on the crew one car you can either have a circuit spec a perf spec you know a raid spec a dirt spec a drift spec whatever it is so i think they'll probably incorporate something similar to that into this and then moving forward guys you know as i was saying before you've got you know this which looks like it's in a quarry somewhere in the desert so think about it now guys we've had pictures where they're in the city pictures where they're in the middle of the desert pictures where they're on some sort of mad quarry so it does look like this is going to be a really good big map the map for this game need for speed 2015 was pretty dead it was a small map you couldn't really do much with it and i didn't really like it to be fair so yeah in these next little sequence of um pictures i'm going to show you guys as you can see we get our first kind of glimpse of street racing here we have the skyline looks like he's doing some drifting around the corner you've got somebody chasing him so as you can see this guy's chasing him down the road he's ready to grab him he's going to do his thing yeah it is a mustang as you can see i am going to show you the next photo it is a mustang guys and then <clears throat> I think here the Mustang tries to overtake and he must have an accident or something. But then in this next couple of photos, this is where we get our first glimpse of the police guys. So as you can see, you got the police chasing the skyline there. And like I said, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to say, ah, oh, this is confirmed or anything like that. Because I don't like to be that kind of person. I just want to give you what I personally think is going on. And as you can see from here, in these next sequence of videos, I will break it down for you. The car, the Mustang has hit the police car from the back. He's done a pit maneuver, guys. And as you can see, he's spun him around. He's spun him out. 
and he's just stop dead and he doesn't he doesn't move anymore so that's pretty cool obviously you can kind of stop the police from taking you down you can knock them out the way you can do whatever whatever and yeah i think that's pretty cool moving forward guys back to the drag racing as you can see there's two cars lined up here ready to roll one does look like a mustang and one does look like a fair lady so these are ready to have a little drag race as you can see the car on the um left hand side guys its front wheels are off the ground if you go to this next picture i know the quality is not that good guys but the nitrous is being hit the car is fully off the ground and it's doing a wheelie i mean come on who could not find that pretty cool guys i find that pretty cool so yeah moving forward again guys and the vid the uh, trailer is starting to wrap itself up now and it's just showing you the last couple of little things that you probably want you to see again back in the city does like it look like it is in las vegas it has been kind of confirmed that it is around las vegas which is what we speculated before as you see there's a porsche here looks like it's doing a bit of street racing a bit of drifting and then moving forward again guys there is a screenshot here of the bel air and it does look like it's doing some more off-roading i mean looks monster that does drifting off-roading taking itself to the limits now guys i'm going to show you something and i'm pretty sure i am the first person to clock this because i don't think anybody else clocked this yet and wow i'm just going to bang this picture up here guys i'm not going to say nothing for a couple of seconds and we'll just admire it boom yeah i think that's long enough so anyway guys look at that old school bmw m3 i know exactly what car that is beautiful car i mean look at it guys oh my days this car has been a big feature in the need for speed, need for speed franchise i know that i know it was in carbon back in the day i'm sure it's the bmw m3 gto something like that i mean just looks beautiful guys i mean wow they have put that in there i managed to catch it it was literally like a half a second of a flash of a photo and i managed to catch it guys just for you so let me know in the comment section below what you think of that and like i said moving forward guys the trailer is starting to wrap itself up it does show you that you can throw a police officer in the air again it can do the spinner rooney you can land on the floor and he's kind of dead and then this last screenshot i am going to show you guys is the skyline trying to get away and i did kind of get it so you can see his number plate it does say t7 ler which spells out tyler and yeah guys this last screenshot is just a nice high definition picture of how they all look together so yeah whoa take a breath flipping out guys so much to go over in that what do you think need for speed 2017 it's going to be called payback wow i mean the game like i was saying does look like there's elements of free roam in there does look like there's elements of missions in there there is daytime there is nighttime there's supercars there's drag cars there's off-road cars there's street cars you know there's supercars there's hypercars i don't know what to say guys this looks like it's going to be a really 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 good game it looks like like i said it's got elements of fast and furious you know the crew forza need for speed itself i'm really really looking forward to this game guys i am going to try my best to pre-order it as quick as possible get on it guys need for speed payback november the 10th 2017 release date let me know in the comment section below if i missed anything out for you guys let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover on this like comment subscribe share always hit that little bell guys get these notifications sent straight to yourself so you know i've uploaded a video anything of interest to yourselves anything you want me to do any requests anything at all guys i aim to please like comment subscribe share 100 million likes on this video guys and i'll catch you in the next video peace